Hello viewers, you're welcome to my YouTube video today. I'll be solving the third question in the West African Examination Council 2023 past question. I'll read out the question. In the diagram above, PQR is an equilateral triangle of side 18 centimeters. M is the midpoint of QR, an arc of a circle with center P touches QR at M and meets PQ at A and PR at B. Calculate correct two decimal places the area of the shaded region. And this question is expecting us to take pi as 22 over 7. Now, as you can see at the leftmost part of the uh, slide, I've written the question there and the figure is written there. Okay, I'll try as much as possible to make the solution simple enough to your understanding. Okay, now to find the area of the shaded portion, I need to find the difference between the area of a triangle, the triangle PQR, minus area of the sector PAMB. PAMB. Okay. Now, the question is this. How did I know that this is a sector? From the problem, we're told in the diagram above, PQR is an equilateral triangle. Okay? So, I'll replicate. So, first, I need to find the area of triangle PQR, right? So, I'll write my triangle PQR. So, in the diagram above, PQR is an equilateral triangle of side 18 centimeters. M is the midpoint of QR. Because M is the midpoint of QR and an arc of a circle with center P. P is the center and the arc is AMC. So if this is the center, it means if we complete this arc, we're going to get a circle with center P, which automatically makes P, M, the radius. Okay. So since the point P describes the arc AMB, then I can comfortably say that this is a sector with PA, PM and PB being the red eye. But we're going to see that as a solution unfolds. Okay. Now I've sketched the uh, the right angle triangle. How did I know it's a right angle triangle? Or rather, the equilateral triangle. I beg your pardon. This is an equilateral triangle. Okay. We're told in the question that it's an equilateral triangle, and each of the sides is given to us as eight centimeters. So uh, the side facing P, I'll crescent it small letter P. Let it be equal to 18 centimeters. And then the side facing Q, I'll give you the letter Q, small letter Q, and uh, it's equal to 18 centimeters. And then the side facing R, I'll give it a name, small letter R, equals 18 centimeters. Okay? So all the sides are same because it's an equilateral triangle. Now, the angle here, it's going to be 60 degrees. The angle at Q2 will be 60 degrees. The one at R will be 60 degrees. How did I know it's going to be 60 degrees? Because it's an equilateral triangle. So the sum of the interior angle of a triangle is 180. 180 divided by 3 is 60, 60, 60. So each of the interior angles will be 60 degrees at piece. P, 60 degrees. Q, 60 degrees. And R, 60 degrees. Okay? Now, I need to find the area of triangle PQR. If I can get that, and find the area of the sector PAMB, the difference will give me the area of the shaded portion, okay? To find the area of PQR, I have three alternatives because I have all the sides of the right angle or rather of the equilateral triangle given and all the interior angles has been given to me as 60, 60 degrees, right? Because it's equilateral, so each of the interior angles uh, will be 60 degrees each, okay? So area of triangle PQR equals 1 divided by 2 multiplied by P, that's the side facing P, Q, the side facing Q, and then the included angle sine R. So here I'm representing the sides of the triangle with small letter R, P, and R, P, and Q represent the sides, and P, Q, R, capital letter P, capital letter Q, capital letter R represent the angle. So R here stands for the angle. Whereas P and Q stands for the sides. Okay? I could equally make use of 1 over 2 P times R sine Q. Okay? Because I have all the sides, so I can play around with it. Okay? I can decide to make use of 1 over 2 multiplied by Q 
and R sine P. So I can use any of these methods. Any of these methods can be used because I have P, I have Q, and I have R. That is the sides of the equilateral triangle. And I have all the interior angles given. So but I will decide to make use of the first one, okay? So using the first one, I will have 1 divided by 2 multiplied by P. Is the side facing angle P, which is 18 centimeters. 18 multiplied by Q is the side facing uh, angle Q, which is 18 centimeters, multiplied by sine R. R is 60 degrees, sine 60 degrees. Now, if I solve this question using calculator or any method of your choice, it boils down to 81 root 3 centimeters square. Okay? Sorry, this one is centimeters square. Now, looking at the problem, you agree with me that um, the area, I had to get the area as a decimal fraction because in the question, uh, I was asked to leave my answer to two decimal places. So if you point your calculator, 81 root 3 should be the same thing as 140.2961 and several other digits. So I decided to truncate it at four decimal places. Okay. Now, in the problem, uh, the solution should be given to two decimal places. So approximately, I'll have my answer to be 140.30. Why is it 30? Now I count to two decimal places. I have two and nine. Then I'll look at the third digit after the decimal. The third digit is more than five. So I'll round it up. It becomes one. So one plus nine is 10. I'll write zero carry one. Two plus one is three. So that was how 140.2961 centimeters square. Uh, boils down to um, 140.30 centimeters square. Okay, like I said, this is centimeter square. It's a little mistake on my own part. Okay, so now I'm done with this. The next thing to do is to find the area of sector PAMB. To find the area of sector PAMB, I'll use the formula for the area of sector, which is theta divided by 360 times pi r square. Now I'll define the parameters theta and r. Already we know pi. Pi is a constant, 22 over 7. Theta is equal to 60 degrees. Theta signifies uh, the interior angle, the angle subtended by the two radii. The radii are PA and PB. I've established that earlier, but I will still explain that further because P is the center of the arc that subtended the, the, the point P is the center used in describing or forming the arc AMB. So that automatically makes PA, PM, and PB, they are all radii, okay? So if that be the case, the angle subtended by the two radii, PA and PB, is equal to 60. And then R is equivalent to PA. And what is PA? The length of P to A, which is a radius, and it's also equal to the length of PM, I've explained that earlier, that's also a radius, and it's the same thing as PB. So PA, PM, PB, they are all radii. Unfortunately, that value is not known. So I need to find the value of the radius of the sector. Okay? Now, to solve that, I need to find the, uh, the length of PM. Why do I need to do that? It's easier for me to find the length of PM by bisecting the equilateral triangle rather than to find PA. So once I'm able to get PM, it, it's automatically equivalent to PA and PB. All I'm looking for is the radius, and PM is the radius. It's a radius, right? So from P, from triangle PMR, PMR. Now I'll make a construction from P to M. So from PMR, using Pythagoras theorem, PM square, because PMR is a right angle triangle, okay? PM square will now be equal to PR, the hypotenuse, PR square minus the MR square. So PM square will be equal to PR square. What is PR? PR is the same thing as small letter Q, which is 18 centimeters. So 18 centimeters square minus MR. MR is gotten by dividing QR by 2. 18 divided by 2, so QM is 9 and MR is 9, okay? And MR is 9 centimeters square, or rather MR is 9 centimeters, so since I'm squaring it, I'll find 9 square, meaning 18 square is 324 minus 9 square is 
81. Now the difference between 324 and 81 is 243. Therefore, to find PM, I will now find the square root of 243. And the square root of um, 243 in short form is 9 root 3 centimeters. Okay. Now I've got in my radius, but I need to get the value of the radius in decimal form. Okay. Because my answer should be in uh, to two decimal places. So if I punch my calculator 9 root 3, this is in short form. In decimal fractional form, it will be 15.5885 and several other digits. I just decided to truncate it at uh, four decimal places. Okay. Now the area of the sector PAMB will now be equal to 60 divided by 360. Remember, I gave you the formula in the previous slide, which is theta over 360 times pi r squared. Theta is 60 degrees. Uh, pi is 22 over 7. It's been given to us in the question. And the radius, that is PM is 15.5885 to the power of 2 because I'm looking for r square. Now if you resolve this expression, it boils down to 127.2864 centimeters square. Okay. Now the question said all our answers should be to two decimal places. So I'll run this up to two decimal places. But looking at the third digit after the decimal, the third digit is 6. If I run it up, it becomes 1. So I'll add it to 8. 8 becomes 9. So my final answer for the area of the sector will be 127.29 centimeters square. Now to the area of the shaded portion. Area of shaded portion will be area of triangle 140.2961 minus area of sector 127.2864. Area of the shaded portion equals 13.0097 centimeters square. To two decimal places. I'll look at the third digit after the decimal. 9 is more than 5. I'll round it up. It becomes 1. If I add it up, therefore, the area of the shaded portion will now be 13.01. Because I rounded 9 up, I'll add it to this. This becomes 1. And every other thing turns to 0. So my final answer will be 13.01 centimeters square. Okay? Now, this is the area of the shaded portion of the plane shape shown. I do hope the solution... It's clear and you understood um, every bit of it. If so, I would appreciate if you drop a comment. And um, if you have not liked my YouTube uh, channel, the name is Victor Instem. Kindly go hit the subscription button or hit the subscribe button as the case may be. And um, I will appreciate that. Thank you for watching my YouTube video and see you the next time as I solve the next question. Bye bye.